Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to incorporate RetroArc with the Attract Mode Plus front end. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to incorporate RetroArc into Attract Mode Plus. Just doing a fresh build right from scratch. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get our Attract Mode Plus, and the link will be in the description. It's going to take you to this page here. We'll just scroll down to Assets, and the one we want is Attract Plus 3.0.7 Windows X64 Static. So you'll left click to download that. Next, you'll go to the other link in the description. It's going to take us to the RetroArch downloads. We're going to scroll down, and under Windows, we're going to download 64-bit and just left click on that and that will download. So once you have those files, you're going to have two 7-zip files. Now I will link to 7-zip in the description of the video as well if you don't have it installed. But what you're going to want to do with attract mode is right click, 7-zip, and you want to go to extract 2. And then for RetroArch, you're going to right click. 7-zip extract here. Now once we have our two folders extracted you're going to want to place this wherever you plan to keep it on your computer. So I'm just going to do my build on my desktop but I am going to rename my attract plus folder and I'm just going to call it attract. So we want to rename it before we get started. Then we're going to take our RetroArch-Win64 folder and just drag it into the Attract folder just like that. And we'll open it up. Now what you're going to want to do is go into your Emulators folder and we're going to go New, Text Document, and we're going to name this one Super Nintendo dot CFG. Hit enter. Do you want to change it? Yes. Now I've got two examples down in the description of this video. So we're going to open up our config file. It's completely empty. So now we're going to use the example SNES. You're going to highlight everything just like so. Right click, copy, and then we're going to paste that into our Super Nintendo.cfg file. Paste. So now we need to change a few things. So what we'll do is go to Attract, and then we are going to go to RetroArch, and we're going to take, you're going to need some games. So I have a games folder. And inside I have NES games inside of a folder and I have SNES games inside of a folder. So that's the structure you're going to want to do it. I'm going to drag my games folder into my RetroArch folder, just like that. And what we'll do is go into games. For this one, we'll go into SNES. Then we're going to come up to the address bar here, left click once. And you're going to want to right click, copy, and inside of your Super Nintendo.cfg, you're going to want to put it in ROM path. So make sure your cursor is blinking right here. Right click, paste. Now, what we're going to want to do here is right click before the word box art and click paste. Now we want to put a backslash just like this. We're going to do the same thing for the cart art. So we'll make sure we're highlighted before cart art. Paste. Back, backslash. Same thing for snap. Backslash. Paste. Backslash. So now what we want to do is tell it where RetroArc is. So we're going to go into our RetroArch folder. Then we're going to left click once on the address bar. Right click, copy. 
and just before retroarch.exe, we're going to right click, paste, and put a backslash. So now it's telling us where our retroarch is, it's telling us where our games are. I've already got the ROM extensions ready for you, the system for scraping, and we can add all the artwork we so choose. So what we'll do now is file, save, close. And while we're here, let's go ahead and do another one for the NES. So we're going to go to Attract, Emulators, and then we'll right-click, New, Text Document. And this one we're going to call Nintendo Entertainment system. There we go. Now we're going to just want to change the txt to .cfg. Just like this. Hit enter. Change it. Yes. And we'll open up that file. Now we're going to go to our example NES. Highlight everything just like so. Right click. Copy. We'll close that. And we're going to paste it into our Nintendo Entertainment System config. Now we're going to go back to Attract. We're going to go to RetroArch. We can left click once. Copy. And then we're going to paste that right here. Oop. Paste. Backslash. Next thing we want to do is get our ROM path. So we'll go into Games, NES this time. Same thing, go to the address bar, left click, then right click, copy, and paste this into our ROM path, just like that. And then we will also go before box art, right click, paste, backslash, same with cart art. Backslash, right click, paste, backslash, and one more time for wheel, backslash. So now we have zip, dot seven zip, and dot NES games we can use. It knows where everything is, so we're going to hit file, save, and we're going to go to close. Now we're going to launch up RetroArch for the first time. So let's go ahead and launch it up. First thing I like to do is go to Window and Full Screen Toggle, just like this. We're going to have to go to Online Updater, and the first thing I like to do is update my assets, my controller profiles, my cheats, my databases. Once this is all done, I then I click the update core info files. So you can see RetroArch is installing the assets right now. It'll flash a few times. But once this is done, we can go ahead and click update core info files. And then we're going to scroll up to core downloader. And for this one, we're focused on Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So we'll come on down. So we got to download, I just download all of them, just like that. And then for Super Nintendo, I usually just stick with SNES 9X. And there should be five of those. And now we'll escape twice to exit RetroArch. We have our cores. Now we're going to open up a track mode for the first time. So the first time you're going to want to hit enter on your language that you want to choose. You can auto detect emulators if you want to. I'll click yes and see what happens. So for displays we don't have any yet. So what we're going to want to do here is go to controls, press enter, and now you can choose your buttons with your controller. So for back, 
I'm using an Xbox One controller. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to come down to add input and I'm going to press my B button on my Xbox controller and then I'll hit B and it takes me back. Then for up you can use your thumbstick or your D-pad whatever you so choose. You'll hit enter, add input, hit enter and then I'm going to press up on my D-pad and then we're going to go and hit enter on down and we'll do the same thing here so add input press enter press down left so we'll hit enter go down to add input hit enter hit left press b to back up for right we'll do the same thing enter and we'll hit right last one we need is select which is to choose a game i'm going to hit enter go to add input enter and press A on my con my controller. So now if I press B I can back up and if I use A I can choose things. So we're going to go back, we're going to go to emulators and depending on how many games you added what we're going to do we'll start with the Nintendo and we're going to press up so we're at the bottom we're going to go to generate ROM list so there's four entries now we're going to go to Emulators, Super Nintendo, press up, Generate ROM List, press A. I have four games there as well, I'll press B to back up. Now we're going to want to go down to our Scraper Settings, press A. Do I want to scrape flyers and box art? Yes I do. I'll also scrape fan art. Videos is MAME only, so that's not going to help us in this instance, but we can go back. And then let's go back to emulators, Nintendo, press up, and go to scrape artwork, press A. And depending on how many games you have, it's going to take a while, but I've only got four for each system. So I'm going to go back by pressing B, emulators, then I'll do my Super Nintendo, I'll press up, scrape artwork, press A. Now it shouldn't take too long with just four games. There we go. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to press B one more time. And now you can see I didn't get any art for Zelda or Mighty Final Fight. But if we were to press tab and go to displays Nintendo you can choose a different layout whatever you so choose there are some to download and I'll leave a link in the description for you to try out new layouts so let's just try grid and we'll go back so here's grid if you're missing artwork it doesn't look that great but let's just launch a game there we go so I can hit escape twice but if you want to use your controller to escape when you're in RetroArch what you'll do is launch a game and now we're gonna press F1 on our keyboard now we're gonna press B to go back you wanna go over to the left go to settings then over to input we're gonna to go to hotkeys so then what I like to do is quit controller combo. So we'll go here and you can choose how you want to quit RetroArch. So for me I'll do L1, R1, start and select. So I'll choose that one to quit. Then we'll go back, 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 main menu, quick menu, resume. And I'm going to hit L1, R1, start and select. And I'm back to my main menu. So I'm going to change this because I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to go to Displays, Nintendo. Let's go back to a track man. There we go. So now what we're going to want to do, because we're stuck in Nintendo, is hit Tab, Controls. 
and we want to go to previous display press A and I like to use my L1 button or my left bumper like that and then for next display I like to go to add input and use my right bumper and then we'll go back and now I can change to Super Nintendo But there we are, we have RetroArch incorporated into a track mode. LR start and select, and we're back at it. So if for any reason you don't get all the artwork you're looking for by scraping, um, this is MU Movies, and I'm a lifetime member, so I get FTP access and things like that. I get the high definition video snaps. Uh, but you can get all that stuff for free on their website. You just won't get the HD stuff. Uh, some, of the, some of it is paid members only. But if we were to go to console, media, click it, you can scroll down until you get to the system you're looking for. So I'm just going to use um, Nintendo Entertainment System. Here's my video snaps. We have platform videos, themed videos, but I'm going to focus on artwork right now. And we got box arts, cart arts, things like this. So I'll start with just box art, but I'm going to get, just get regular 2D box art. So we'll scroll on down. There we go, Nintendo 2D boxes. I'm going to click it. Now I am signed in, so you may have to create an account. It is free. If you want FTP access, it is not. But we'll scroll down, download files. And then it's if you want a file list, I just want the boxes themselves. So I'm going to hit download. And then I'll show you where to install them. So once your file downloads, I'm just doing box art today, but I'll show you where to put cart art, video art, and logo slash wheel art. But I'm going to right click, 7-zip, extract here. It's going to give me a folder. I'm going to open up that folder, hit control A on my keyboard, right click, cut or copy. I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to go into my attract. RetroArch, Games, and this is for NES. Then I'm going to create a new folder for box art, just like that. Paste. So now we've got 851. So if you were doing cart art, you would right click, new folder and you want to name it cart art just like this. For video snaps, you're going to create a new folder and just call it snap. No S, just snap, not snaps. And then for your wheel slash logo art, you're going to create a new folder. Just call it wheel. And you can do the same thing for your SNES games. So Basically, if you want to add more systems, you can. You can use those examples, change a few things inside, especially which core. But if we were to go to online updater, core downloader, and you wanted to add, let's just say Sega Genesis, make sure you scroll down. And I like to use Genesis plus GX. But you can do it with Sega Saturn, Sega Master System, Dreamcast, all that good stuff. So I know this was a lengthy video. Maybe watch it through and then just go along as I go along. Pause as you need. But this is the beginning of getting RetroArch incorporated with a track mode so that you can go ahead and start playing your favorite games. That's going to do it for me, everybody. Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a good day.